Hey folks, today I've got an epic wind test of the brand new DJI Mavic 3 Classic. Uh, right now the wind gusts are coming up on 70 kilometers an hour. It is hauling out there. Uh, you can see, normally I do this test at the end of the pier or further out in the pier, but the other pier is closed because the waves are so high over right now. In this pier here, I'm a little afraid to be quite honest that the Mavic's not going to do so well in this test. This is probably the highest wind test I've ever done. Now because the wind is so strong, I've got to use a GoPro really low down to the ground here because my tripod keeps on tipping over. Uh, so with that, let's get this up in the air and see how it handles. Okay, so I've got the screen recording on the DJI RC right here. Uh, so I'll basically be switching back and forth. Here we go. Check props. Complete. <laughs> It's already displeased. I can hear it in the motors. There we go. Pulling it back so you can see it. It's already struggling a bit. Let's see if it'll catch. No, it's, it's not happy. Let me bring it in a sport mode and see if I can get a bit more out of it. Okay, I can bring it back in sport mode. Just barely. Barely holding on right here. Bring it over here. Bring it back and let's see if I can settle it out. There we go. The GPS is now locked in place. Now at this point, we're using the downward optical sensors. I'm going to bring it over a little bit right here. It's going to use those sensors to keep itself in position. I'm going to move it out of the way just a little bit for the folks going by. And you can see it's staying pretty still. Uh, the main thing right now is the gusts are really pushing this around a little bit, but despite that, it's not that bad at all. Uh, it's actually better than I thought. I was a little afraid right now when we first took off. But once I'm in sport mode, it gives it that extra uh, ability to kind of keep moving. So we're going to go ahead here and uh, oh, the sand, the sea spray. Oh, that hurts. I'm going to turn this around and we're going to head out into the wind. Keep my hat on. We're going to go out there a little ways. Check out this boat, not get too close. Definitely got the strong wind warnings, of course, but that's fine. The thing is, I'm going to keep the aircraft basically this side of the pier. That way, if there's too much wind, I can just simply get it back to the pier or back to the beach if all else fails. You got a bit more altitude here. Now keep in mind, as we go up in altitude, that increases the winds, generally speaking. So if it gets too rough, I'll bring it back down again. Get rid of that low wind or high wind warning. Definitely no wind warnings, low wind warnings today. You can see these, they got two tugs to get this thing in here. Uh, normally there's no tugs bringing it in. There's just a pilot boat. Uh, but in this case, two tugs to keep things kind of uh, in case they need it as they come into the port here. Now, while you're checking out this ship, this is a great time to go ahead and whack that like button. It really does help with the video and the channel quite a bit. You can see we can bring the zoom in here. <laughs> 2X zoom, 3X zoom, let's look in on the, there we go. Now, of course, there is no second tele lens on uh, the Mavic 3 Classic, only on the higher end Mavics. And so in this case, I'm just using the optical zoom but still, it's not too bad. We'll bring it back to 1x zoom here. A little bit dark there, but uh, kind of we're shooting into the sun. It's reflecting off of the ocean. And what's cool here is that we can, yellow wind there. I can actually even use ActiTrack right now. Uh, so if I stop this for a second and go down to 4K, because 4K is the highest uh, mode supported for ActiTrack on this drone, start recording. Now watch this. I can highlight the giant ship there. And usually it'll pick it up. There we go. Success. Active track. Holy moly. And go. And off it's going to go. It's going to start trying to track this object as it moves along. You can see it's... Oh, they've just about stopped here. No, they're still going. And now I can move it around it. Instead, though, I'm going to go to this lighthouse out there because it's moving a little bit faster. I've got this thing moved down pretty slow at this point, uh, obviously, because of the waves. So I'm going to stop this and go down and do a POI on the lighthouse. Cancel that out. There we go. And we're going to try to get out there to this lighthouse, which isn't that far, but it feels like it at this speed. Uh, right now, I'm going to get myself back over on this side of the up here. Okay, so you can see I've got full left stick right now. Full left stick. And it's just barely creeping along. So I'm going to bring it down a little ways because that'll lower the speeds. Bring it down further. There we go. And again, as I bring that down, I'm getting more speed because the winds tend to be lower closer to the surface. There we go. Now it's, it's usable again. So I'm going to get my way up there. 
I'll probably fast forward this part since it's pretty boring, all the way up to that little lighthouse. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make us do that, a POI. There we go, we'll try to go as fast as we can around this, which isn't gonna be very fast. And we're gonna set it off and let it go. Anyway, this is just the automated mode to show that it can pull this off. And you would never know, looking at this footage after the fact, that the winds right now are 70 kilometers an hour, which is absolutely insane. Now, let's talk about the top speeds of the Mavic 3. Mavic 3 top speeds are the same across the board while this does this. Uh, you can see a little bit of shadows, by the way, right now in this, but it should look nice in just a second as we loop around the other side. Uh, anyways, as you can see right now on the screen, there are three core speeds that uh, DJI advertises. There is the basic speed, normal speed, if you will. There is their wind speed, and then there is the sport mode speed. Uh, I'm having to have it in sport mode right now to pull this all off because the winds are so high. You'll notice that the wind speed is below the sport mode speed. Uh, so that's basically the highest winds that they advertise. In reality though, as long as your wind speed is roughly equal to your sport mode speed, you're in good company. And right now we are right on that edge there, but just barely below. I've been sitting out here for like two hours waiting for the winds to come down just enough to be within the safe zone to pull this off. But this is definitely, it's definitely spicy. Uh, as you can see though, pretty solid right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple pictures of these boats coming in real quick. So we'll cancel that out. There we go. Okay, you can see this guy's having trouble staying up there. Now, as you can see at this point, it's really smooth. Like this footage is coming out great. I got full gimbal control here, so bring the gimbal down for fun. We'll kind of go around this side a little bit. And then we gotta pull it back in here in just a second. But no problems with the gimbal. I can go straight down if I want to, just to do that, to show you can see it there. And then back up again, obviously nothing there. And I don't want to fly over the top of this guy. I kind of want to keep it off to the side. That's very, very solid. Again, things looking really nice right now. We'll bring it on in. We're going to bring it up the pier here towards me. I'm going to bring it around so you can see the landing from this side. Yellow. Now, at this juncture, things are pretty rough wind-wise. I'm not super thrilled about the idea of trying to land this here. So I'm actually gonna land it on the beach right over here so I can see what's going on. Merely because I don't wanna see any issues with it. Uh, when it hits the props, so you can see much, much smoother right there. There we go. And down we go. Ta-da! Boom, perfect, 9.59. Now, the reason why I was trying to get down so quickly is I wanted to make sure I was down before 10 o'clock because there's a temporary flight restriction zone that takes effect at 10 o'clock here, uh, and it goes this entire area. It takes effect at uh, 9 a.m. UTC time, which is 10 o'clock here time, and I just don't want to be in the air for that because obviously that wouldn't be allowed. So there you go, a look at the DJI Mavic 3 Classic in the wind, and uh, I, it, it did well, it did just fine. Uh, you know, certainly, if I had more time, I would probably go out there all the way out to the end of the pier and get some awesome shots out there with those waves way out there. But I simply don't have that time due to the TFR. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's really too bad. That TFR is in effect for the next two days, unfortunately. So I'm out of luck there. But hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give a whack on that like button down there or hit subscribe for plenty more sports technology goodness. Have a good one. Let's go get my drone. There we go, little buddy. Good job. Test complete.